Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to On How channel. If you don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So now you know, if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply, I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to resize the product image on your Shopify store. And I mean resizing the product image on the product page. And yes, that's completely possible. And we will do that again without using any apps or anything like that. But by using our own custom code, a very short code that will do the trick. And you can actually customize that code to sit at different sizes to the product pictures. So if you want them bigger or smaller, whatever the case, you can actually customize it to the size, the exact size that you want. And actually a lot of people having that issue, not just you, because some Shopify teams, they do not handle the product pictures really good. And they do show them really big on the screen and they take the whole screen, the whole page. So the description looks very small and the pictures are really big. In this video, as I said, I will show you how to customize the pictures i mean in terms of size and display them in any size you want and without any more talking let's just jump to it by the way as you can see the shopify store right here is the shopify store that i do all the tutorials on and for example this video banner right here with the transparent header with the video plane underneath it as well as the hover color and even removing the underline that shows up on the menu right here once you hover over them uh, none of the videos on youtube showing you how to remove that underline I did show how to do that by, by sharing actually a very short code again that would do the trick and completely free again. And even removing or changing the card icon from here to any icon you want. And the best thing that I did share, I mean actually over 80 videos. But the best one I think people would really like is this one right here. As you can see, a discounted percentage based on the discount for each product and it will be displaying in here in place of this sale. For example, if you did add a discount to a product, a badge will be shown right here, says sale, right? In my video, I did show how to replace that sale with the exact percentage for each discount. And the percentage actually will be calculated automatically. You don't have to keep calculating each percentage and sell it for each product. That will be calculated automatically. You don't have to do anything. For example, as you can see, this one is only $2 discount. That's why it's showing just 4% off. And this one is like more than $30 discount. It's showing actually 36% off. So this is really cool and professional. And the best thing again about this trick is we did that without using any apps or anything like that by using our own custom script that will do that. So you don't have to worry about affecting the loading time of your Shopify store. This is really lightweight and would not affect the loading time. So if you are interested in how to add any of these right here I did show you, check out my channel. As I said, I made over 80 videos only for customizing your Shopify store to make it unique and branded. And every code I do share, I do share it completely free. You just have to click on it in the description and you will find the code. And if you are wondering why I'm doing all this for free, I'm not Robin Hood, right? Robin Hood is dead long time ago. The only thing I'm asking for is just a like, please, as you can see, just like the header said right here. So if this video helped you out or any of my videos did help you out, help me out pressing the like button. That's the only thing I'm asking for. And it will take you like a millisecond to click on it and it will motivate me to make more videos for you guys. So I would really appreciate it. And not talk too much again about the things I do. I apologize. That's the only thing you have to keep up with this in this channel. So without any more talking, let's just jump to it and show you how actually to resize this uh, product pictures right here. So as you can see, this product picture is taking more than a half of the screen as you can see. In this video, I will show you how to resize this and it will be taken maybe less than the half of the screen or any size as I said. You can customize that to any size you want. Obviously, I'm going to keep this page open right here and we will do the trick, come back in here, reload the page and see the changes. So let's just keep this open and access Shopify dashboard, obviously. The next thing you're going to do is click on online store from the left menu, then click on the three dots on left of customize right here and click on edit code. After that, it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And the next thing you're going to do is access the assets folder or actually you don't have to do that. We will use the search bar instead because we will have to keep looking for a file. We will go for it directly. So uh, click on the search bar right here on top and simply type in section dash man dash product. Just like you see on the screen right now and it will show you 
this file right here, which is a CSS file called section-main-product.css. So simply click on it and it will show you a lot of CSS code in here. The next thing you're going to do is simply, uh, I already see actually the section that we need to change, which is this one right here. So this is the section that we need to find inside the file. However, if you cannot find it in here, simply click on the code, just like you want to type in something, then click on uh, Control F if you are on uh, Windows or Command F if you are on Mac, and it will show you this prompt at the bottom of the page and simply type in wrapper. Wrapper just like the wrapper, the food, <laughs> anyway, just like this W R A W P E R, just like you see, and it will highlight it on the code in here and make sure to find this one right here. So this is what we need to change. The first one in here. Actually, the first one in here, this one is for the pictures. The second one in here is for the description. So we need to find the one in here that says 64. It might be a different percentage if you are using some other team or in the future that may change the, uh, the percentage. However, you can see what you need to find, right? So this one right here. In my case, it says in here uh, 64. So I'm gonna change it to uh, uh, 34 for example let, let me change the other one because there is two actually if you can see there is two let me change the other one as well to 34 after that I just click on save button right here and right now we uh, it should be smaller because it was bigger it was actually 64 and we did actually set it as 34 so that's actually close to the half let's just get back in here reload the page and the pictures will be much much smaller it should be so let's just reload the page and here we go. Check out the pictures right now. It's really small as you can see. And you can even make it smaller by again reducing it to 14 for example. Let's just do that for the second one as well. 14, let's just hit the save button right here. And let's just reload the page and here we go. It's even more smaller. So this is a personal preference. So play around with the number until you hit the exact size that you want. And again, this trick will work for every Shopify team. And for now, that's how you resize the product pictures on the products page for your Shopify store. And if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. Otherwise, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.